very big thank you. <laughs> I didn't know what direction. But yes, guys, we are making this video to thank you all because we hit 100K on YouTube. On YouTube, yes. So we're so grateful to all of you because yes. you guys are the reason. So thank you guys, whether you started following us on day one, whether you are new here, and this is whether the you first are the 999,000th, 999, 99, wait. Nine hundred, nine thousand, ninety thousand. No. See? Oh, you're right. Nine thousand, nine hundred and no, that would be ninety. Ninety-nine thousand, nine hundred and ninety-nine follower, or you were the one hundred thousandth and one follower, or the first follower, or the first follower. It doesn't matter where you came along the way. We are grateful for you, and this video is for you, and we want to give back to you guys. My name is Amanda. My name is Emily. Welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. What this video is going to be is we are going to take a look back at some of our original videos. We our are going to talk moments. about our favorite video, our best videos, our best video, our, our worst, worst video, video and, and a couple other topics. Couple of, yes. So the first topic. Wait, well, wait, no. Yes. Step number one is the giveaway. The giveaway. Emily, okay. why don't you tell the giveaway? Okay. So. We want, because we hit it 100K, we want 100 of you to be able to be giveaway winners. We wish 100,000 of you could be giveaway winners, but I'm sure you guys understand why that might be difficult. So, the first 100 people to comment on this video and tell us what your favorite video is will win a Gale Force buff. Gale Force buff, you'll also win a sticker. So, a little Gale Force package. A little Gale Force goodie bag. Let's so stay on the lookout for our replies to your comments. Yes. We will reply to your comment and let you know if you won. Just reply to the video, your favorite, sorry, comment on the video, your favorite video, video and then we'll, we'll reply to you guys. Yes. Perfect. Love it. So that's what this is going to be. You guys might seem like we have a little bit of fish brain today, and that's because we, we do. fished all day. We fished all day, and now we're just taking a minute to thank you guys. So the fish brain's happening today, and let's get into our first topic and video. The first topic we're going to talk about is the video that we made that was the hardest to film. Okay, the this is hardest. A no brainer. To film. What, what, what was the name of the video? It was Miami to Key West by boat in rough. Weather, Seas? storms, storms, thunderstorms, like lightning. I don't know if you guys remember, but that video, basically what happened was we had to run this boat, our boat, from Pompano, Pompano Beach, where we have a slip there and a marina. We had some work done on the boat, bring it down to the Keys for some fishing and filming, which is, of course, what we do. And we ran into some weather. And, you know, we always look ahead at the weather. We're always smart. We're always safe. But sometimes things pop up out of nowhere, you get those squalls, and sometimes you just don't really have a choice. So let's take a minute and watch a little clip from this video.
<laughs> wow. It was so rainy, so stormy. I don't know how she managed not to get caught in a thunderstorm. We literally, we are just now leaving Gilbert's. This is Gilbert's. This is where we always get gas on the way down. I ordered some chicken nuggets from the restaurant. I'm super excited to eat them because I'm hungry. But somehow, some way, we didn't get stuck in a thunderstorm. It was like, I mean, there was like sheets of rain walls. on the right and sheets of rain on the left and like sun. But like, when I say sun, like, like 50 feet wide and like we were in it. And it was like, and not like we were like going around. It was like we were in the channel and we couldn't go anywhere. And it was like, thank God, like, we were like dry. I don't even know how we say dry, but we did. A little more ways to go, or a lot more ways to go. Time to get focused, get to driving, get to eat my chicken nuggets, and make it to Big Pine Soup. We'll check in with you. Why don't we go check in again? <laughs> I, I don't know. know. Yeah, let's see what It'll the weather does. We'll see what the weather does, and then we'll check in with you. Although that video was definitely a tough one to film, what I loved about it was having the task of talking to you guys while we were filming, I feel like it helped us stay mentally strong along the way. And it, it helped us because at the end of the day, a little fun fact that wasn't in the video is when we were probably like I an hour off, I was literally about to say this. She was she was dying. I was dying. This, she I mean, was, I think it was like her morale, nine. the morale was down. Wait, how many hours were we on the boat that day? I think it was like nine. Or yeah. eight. It was a lot. It was a lot. So what we did is we started playing I Spy. Or 20 questions. Oh, 20, 20 questions. questions. 20 questions. We played 20 questions. And at the end of the day, guys, if you find yourselves in like rough seas or tough condi conditions, it's really important to keep the morale up and stay positive because I told her, I was like, we no, are not we're there. going down this mental road. We are going to play some games. I was in such a bad mood. We started playing 20 questions, I Spy, whatever we had to do to get through it. And a big part of it was getting the vlog with you all while we were doing it. On the opposite side of that, let's talk about our easiest video that we ever filmed. It was when we were salmon fishing in Washington and we caught, we called it catch of a lifetime. Okay, this video, this day, you guys remember, we yes. went salmon fishing in Washington, we went to Bats Enterprises, started building our rod line, which it is in production. It's in production. Yes. So, that, we went salmon fishing down the Soul Duck River and we caught I think like 20 plus salmon in literally, I mean, yes. it might have been like four hours. It and was, what made it so easy was that the fishing was just so incredible. And we have had many people from the area, even down here, tell us like people fish their lives, their lives chasing after salmon to experience what we experienced. And we experienced it on our first, first time ever. So this specific day, I mean, 
it was so easy to film for a couple reasons. One, when the fishing is that good, it's I easy. mean, you have content forever. Two, our friends at Rain Shadow brought a drone, and normally we don't like to travel with a drone because it's big and heavy and, and you know, it's a big drone. So they had a drone, which yes. totally helped us. And good people, good, good people. vibes. Good it vibes. was like, it was good energy. Everybody was lighthearted and they were ready to be on camera and just photogenic. And it was just, it was just, it was those days the perfect everything day. just came together. So and we're grateful for that. So let's, let's, let's look back. Take a look. Emily, what is this? I think it's a king king. <laughs> it's Got your king first king. one. Double header. We're doubled up. Emily's got her king on. Bill's up there. Looks like he's got another king on. Nice. We'll be able to see the fish here in just a second. Another big, big, oh. big Whoa. Oh, oh my gosh. Right Uh-oh, Bill. Hold on. Uh -oh. It's Did over 30. Emily's fish has outdone mine and Bill's. Holy cow. Need to pull up, huh? Slowly, yep. Yeah. Oh, no, wait for it. Wait for it. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's scary. <gasps> oh my gosh! I almost didn't get him in that net. I, I didn't realize he was going to be that big. I almost didn't get him. Pull the belly. Dude, that is a monster. That's Walter. Emily. You, you may never yeah. take a bigger one than that either. You, yeah, a lot of people never got a bigger one than that. Wow. Okay, Emily. Wait, I, 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 I have to appreciate this fish so much. These guys oh, yeah, are telling us that people fish, fish their life. Look at the whole this size life, of the like this. It's a pancake. Let's look check this thing out. Fin. All right, look up. There we go. Look at that. Cause Yeah, wait. You got let's it? Get her, let's get her first Oh, you got oh, this. Let's anchor it up. Let's go. Wow. You got this, Emily. Wow, look at that thing. Okay, ready? <laughs> I'm going to let go. Okay. You ready, Emily? Okay, I'm ready. ready. Hold on tight. Here you go. <laughs> you look so wow, good. Wow, that thing's a beast. <laughs> look at that. Oh look at that God. thing. <laughs> That's like the biggest you can get here. <laughs> That's winning right there. Catch of a lifetime already. Yeah. My first, that was my first king salmon. I'll, yeah. take, I'll take a fish line hug. <laughs> 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 that's, that's, that's some love there. Yeah. <laughs> nice <job. laughs> Next one is going to be our favorite video. Now this is our favorite video, not because the editing was great, not because the conditions were great. Not because it did amazing. Not because it did amazing. Not because it was, we love the way it came out, which we did love all these things. This is our favorite video because it was raw, it was real. It was just so, it was so authentic, authentic. And the emotions that came across on camera were real. So true. Wahoo on a new moon. If you guys watched this video, I remember you guys in the comments were like, oh my gosh, this is so fun. This is amazing. On this specific day, we went out, we, t we went out looking for Wahoo. And I think, I mean, we caught a Wahoo really fast yes and what's really so wahoo fishing already as is it's hit or miss you do or you don't it's not something that's guaranteed by any means so it's not every day that you go out with a task and you film a video and you say today we're gonna do this and then you do it that does that does that rarely happens guys like rarely so it just every especially when it comes to wahoos so yes. it was the emotion from that video was it was so raw. It was the best experience. I don't know. There was just something about that day that we just... Let's check this one out. It could be a nice one. <laughs> Make sure your drag's not too high up. Oh, you're good. Okay.
like for real. It's not every day we get to catch these guys. I'm what? so happy, guys. Like, like we. It's him. It's him. It's we him. came out here, and like the moon's not even big. We weren't even. No, it's a no moon. It's like the moon's super small. We were like, whatever. We really want to catch one. We were out here at sunrise, and we just. We hope you guys felt those emotions watching that little Yes. Back. I know when I watched that video back, it's like, oh wow, that was so special. Now let's move on to the videos, plural, that got us, you could say, viral. Now we don't have a video that has a million or 10 million, but in relation to our channel, we had a couple videos that pushed us. Yes, I and kind of I think that it was exponential, the growth. Yes, the first one would probably be how to dock a boat. To us, no, it was an anchor ball. Okay, anchor ball. First one was how to use an anchor ball. Yes. So when you're at a reef, and or you're anchored anywhere, and especially if you're anchored in deep water and you don't want to hurt yourself and hurt your back over time of pulling an anchor, we made a video on how to use an anchor ball where basically the boat and a giant ball lifts the anchor for you. Yes. So we can take a minute, we can watch this one for one quick second, but we're not going to spend this time teaching you how to. So if you want ball. to learn to use an anchor ball, we'll put it in the description yes. box. Now that she's got her away from it, she's going to start making her circle to the left towards the line. Perfect. We got some separation, which is good. As Amanda drives away, keeping as much space as possible, and if needing to have even more space in this area, she will just continue to drive to the left to increase the space. You don't have to go super fast. How fast are you going, Amanda? Two and a half knots. Two and a half knots. So pretty much just in gear. Watch the anchor ball. It's going under the water. That means that it's starting to slide down the line towards the anchor. Sometimes you do need to give it a little bit of juice. Like I believe Amanda's giving it some juice right now. Okay. The anchor ball popped. You guys saw the anchor ball pop. That means that it has pulled the anchor out of the C4. The other video that made us go, we called it mini viral, was the how to dock a boat video. And this video took us from 10,000, we were right at 10,000, we uploaded it, and it got us up to 30,000 within a week. And then from that 30,000, it was just a, it was just a slightly quicker growth, but it was still a steady growth. And the docking a boat video, this was for close quarters maneuvering. Yes, and, and we, this boat, it was in a canal that was less than 40 feet wide, and this boat is 32 feet, not including the motors. Right. So we're talking like probably 34, 35 feet total, and in a very, very, so literally we're like a couple feet on the other side, yes. and you had to completely spin it around and dock it. And the feedback was insane, and I think that the feedback about how you guys loved the video and how you loved the educational factor of it yes. really is what pushed us. And I would say that that video also is what started to, we started to go down the trail of doing more and more education mm -hmm. because we just saw the feedback from you guys and we said, wow, let's do more of this. Let's check this out. For some reason, cut it a little bit close that way. My bow can swing over right. the land. My motors can't swing over the rocks. My exactly, the rocks. guys. So in this situation, we have pilings on the dock. And if our bow was this way and Amanda accidentally misjudged it, the bow would hit the pilings. So when you are docking in close quarters, be thoughtful about which direction you're going to spin. In this situation, if the bow is a little close this way, she's just going to have her bow over the land a little bit. Okay. I'm just about finished my turn. Now I have my, I'm finished my turn. I have one motor to start straightening me out. And what I like to do is I'm going to back up to my dock. Sometimes I put both motors in reverse to get me there. Sometimes I don't need to do that. Now, outside motors that I want to move goes in forward. Just like that. Close. Getting close to the dock. Okay. Now I'm going to keep backing up. I like to approach my dock. I like to back up past the dock and then approach it. That's the easiest way for me to do it. There's more than one way to do this. There's more than one way to dock a boat. And this whole time, guys, it's one motor I in and out of gear. I haven't touched the wheel once. No, if you need to, if you need to touch the wheel, you, you can. can. So now I'm happy with my distance. I'm going to start bumping my boat forward. Oh, 
one motor at a time. I'm walking the boat forward. Yes. Walking. Do that again. Walking. Walking, walking the boat, boat forward. forward. By taking my turn, one motor in gear, one motor out of gear. Now I'm completely in neutral. I'm letting my, mom my momentum take me forward. We're approaching the dock. Here's the dock. That was pretty good. And the <laughs> last thing I want to do is I'm going to stop the boat. Don't forget to stop the boat. Your deckhand will be mad at you. If you say, grab the line, and you forget to stop the boat, because then they're right. the one holding and on. And guys, stop the boat does not mean put it in neutral. It means, it means put it put in it reverse, reverse and stop it. And now we're stopped. Just like that. All right, I'm going to grab the line for Amanda. We will go ahead and link all these videos for you guys if you do want to take a trip down memory lane with us. We've appreciated every single one of you, whether you came on day one or day 100 or day 400 because it has been 15 months. Yes, 15 months actually since, since we, we did started this full time, full time pursuing content creation, pro production, and everything we've been doing. So thank you so much for being here. We appreciate all of you. Don't forget to comment what your favorite video is for a chance to win a Gale Force goodie bag. We, we hope, hope you get out there, have fun, and stay safe.